There's a lot of interest in this product coming out of Madagascar made from this local herb called Artemisia. Can you begin by explaining what do you know about Artemisia? What I know about it is it's available. It grows wildly in quite a number of African countries. For example, if you go to Zimbabwe, you will find this in your supermarket as a herbal tea. You know, pretty much like uh, green tea and so on. People consume it for quite a number of illnesses, primarily uh, malaria. Is this actually useful or is this actually effective in fighting COVID-19, which is what the president of Madagascar claims? We do not know. But my own perception is that uh, the president of Madagascar, even with the resources that they have, even with meager resources that we have in Africa, I think it is very easy to set up a very basic clinical trial so that at least we can prove that it is effective. And that has not been done. And if I remember correctly, just uh, last week or the week before, even the Minister of Health in Madagascar was skeptical about uh, its effectivity. And so what would your recommendation be to people, whether in Madagascar or in any country in the world, what would your recommendation be if they are considering using this, this product to either prevent COVID-19 or to treat COVID-19? I wouldn't personally advise anyone to use it to treat COVID-19. At the moment, there is no proven treatment that has been effective. And, and we've seen people are just, I think even out of desperation, are pretty much resorting to taking anything that they come across. But I don't think people should expect that it will cure COVID-19 because that has not been proven scientifically. This isn't the first time when a president has promoted a cure for COVID-19 without the completion of clinical trials. In the United States, for instance, President Donald Trump promoted chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, which are also both used to fight malaria. Clinical trials were not completed. And so far, there's, there is no evidence that, it, that that has succeeded. Do you think we're looking at a similar case here with Artemisia in Madagascar? I, I, th I think so. And, and I think the only difference is that now there is widespread use beyond Madagascar of this herb, uh, which is not the case, I assume, in the USA, where I don't think a lot of people are using chloroquine as a treatment for COVID-19. We've had quite a number of drugs that have been speculated to be effective, and they've been put to trial. So I think we still have to go through that process of actually conducting trials, even if they're small and rapid, so that at least we've got scientific uh, evidence to demonstrate that whatever we recommend people to use has been tested scientifically to be effective. Now, one of the reasons that people are very excited about this product from Madagascar is they're saying it's African. It comes from Africa. It's not an instance of a medicine being developed in the West or in China or another country and being given or distributed in Africa. It's coming from Africa itself. What, what is your response to this? Yeah, I, I think that's a positive. And if it was to be shown that it is effective, I think this would be a great breakthrough for Africa because it's something that grows wildly. But at the moment, we still have to test its effectiveness and prove that it is effective before it is widely promoted.